That was a girl. This video right here comes straight out of some project somewhere and this time I'll let you all tell me where it's at because whatever I say it seems to be wrong for us a location but that's fine because to me the world is a ghetto especially America and you don't know one project from another one but anyway we have this guy basically get caught cheating in his own pad now you will ask Trey why is this man cheating why does he choose to keep playing the field and you will have to believe that some people just are so thirsty that they're dying of thirst. And like uh, my homegirl Nene Leakes said, the thirst is real. But it puzzles me sometimes why guys have to be so damn greedy. Now, I admit, you know, when you're young, you do certain things. But as you get a little older, I mean, you're going to get tired of running the field and trying to run all these different women, especially when you're dealing with two crazy-ass women like these women that's in this video right here, especially the one that put them straight on blast. Now, that's the one that didn't really give a damn about him, the one that was really sounding all ratchet. I'm not talking about the one with the raspy voice like Jada Kiss, like she was going to bust out with the song Why. But, you know, the 
taller female, if you will. Not the girl that come over, but the woman that was already there. That right there is the most ratchetest one. And why would he choose to pick that woman right there over the one with the raspy voice? I don't know. Me, personally, I would have chose the one with the raspy voice because that one that uh, he had in there, she basically told on him, spilled the whole beans. And I don't understand. Why do you women do that when you all get... Uh, upset with a guy or when things go left and they don't go right why do you all sit up here and tell all the man dirty secrets like girl he don't even wipe his butt good you know what i'm saying i'll be having a wipe i'll be having to wash clothes and stuff i'll be putting my clothes in there then all of a sudden i pick up them shitty ass drawers and stuff you know i can't wash that stuff you have to wash that separate and uh oh he in here uh eating ass and everything else eating the groceries and everything and i ain't even went grocery shopping yet and you know if Somebody here that they've been kissing you all in your mouth. If you don't have a nasty taste in your mouth after that, because you the first thing should come in your mind, well, how long he been eating your ass? You feel what I'm saying? That's the first thing would come in my mind. You know, if I was looking at my girl and uh a guy was to tell me that, yeah, Trey man, why are you tripping on that little thought right there, man? She been licking she been licking my ass all year long since January the first. You know what I'm saying? You've been talking about everybody else taking a L, but you've been taking that L the same time the whole time. You know, it just so happened you popped up the day and that you found out the truth. And you know, I would be devastated, I'd be crushed. I would sit on the steps right then wiping my tears to do a video for you all so you all can laugh at me also But anyway on the real I don't understand why do people choose the worst people to be with I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna cheat number one don't cheat because I don't want to sit up here and say that I'm putting uh negative thoughts in your head which I'm not but if you're gonna cheat at least get somebody better than a person that you already cheating on. Don't go get somebody worse. That's just like you going to go get a Mercedes and you got a Mercedes in your yard. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden you get tired of the Mercedes and you go get a, a Hyundai or you go get a, a Gremlin or a Pinto, if you will. And no offense to people that drive Hyundai because I know a lot of people say, well, damn, I got a new Sonata outside right now. And I like the old Sonata. But you know what the hell I'm talking about right there. It still doesn't equal up to a Mercedes, if you will. And no offense to anybody who having, uh, who just getting by on the Hyundai. Days. You know, as long as it gets you from point A to point B. But y'all know what I'm saying right there. I mean, if you're going to do something, upgrade, don't downgrade. And at first, I thought it was the woman house like it'd be on so many other videos. But thank God, you know, at least it was his own little apartment whether it was in the projects or whoever give a damn as long as he have his own roof over his head and common sense would have told the woman that was in there with him that uh if he's doing all this suspicious stuff like if somebody calling your man and everything and he's getting up going to the bathroom all the time everywhere he go he has his cell phone that is a red flag right there like this fool got some numbers up in the phone and some of you women too if you all doing that for the fellas that are listening to me right now if you have somebody constantly acting strange and stuff around a certain period of time around three o'clock or five o'clock when people are known to quote unquote get off uh that should right there should raise a red flag it should make your spider sense start tingling and everything you know what i'm saying so if you send your uh your lover if you will get up every time when the phone ring or if they got a text or, or if the phone vibrate something is definitely wrong right there and you can hear this uh the taller woman the one that was real ghetto and ratchet basically was saying well yeah he was acting very suspicious you knew damn well that that girl was still staying in that house. You know how I know? Because nine times out of ten, and you women can tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section, if you will, because I love to hear your responses. But you women know, if you go into a guy's house and you talking, and what talking means, uh, going together and going together means uh, in a relationship, you know, however you want to say it, you're going to leave something at this house. You're going to leave a toothbrush. You're going to leave your comb. Some of y'all leave your drawers in there, your panties and stuff, because you want the next bitch to know one thing. Look, I've been here first, you know, I was here, you know how you go in the bathroom, signs on side, I mean, uh, you go in the bathroom, you see the signs in the bathroom, uh, such and so was here, uh, Billy Bob was here, uh, Nasty Kate was here, you know, you want to leave your mark wherever you go in this world, so that's why women leave those things at guy's house, especially because they know if the next female come in here, she damn sure gonna know that it's a female that's been in here already because certain men don't use certain products that women use. So if you go into a guy's house, you see all kinds of feminine products, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that you all spray on your panties and stuff, and you spray down there in your private region, whatever that spray call. Now, don't no guy got no business having that in his medicine cabinet. And if he does have that in his medicine cabinet, quite true enough, uh, somebody else is using it or, you know, he have someone. So, I mean, come on now. It's no need to play games and hide. Because if you're grown, why cheat anyway? Just go get with the person you want to be with. But this is, this is what happens when people uh, have what they call their cake and want to eat it too. You know what I'm saying? They want to have their cake and eat it too. Which means they want, they want it both ways. They want it both sides. They don't want just one person, you know, 
They want two, three, four, five, six, seven people. And they wonder why they're catching all these STDs and having all these damn problems. And you hear so many videos of women coming in the door, you know what I'm saying, waving in the faux faux, shooting people and stuff just because of cheating. You know, you don't never know how somebody's going to act with their emotions. So why sit up here and play with somebody? But the worst thing about the whole video to me was at the end part when she said, oh, yeah, he 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 ass and everything. I couldn't even say that right. Let me say it again. She said he eat ass and everything. Like he been he been licking up from her elbows all the way to her toes, if you will. Now and that girl said, "Oh yeah, really?" Because she like, but damn, he don't even do me like that. He don't even turn my ass over on that couch, make me make me get in that doggy style stance and spread my cheeks and, and, and go down there and lick them groceries. So why in the hell is he doing you like that? And I've been, uh, I supposed to be his main thing, his main. But you know how y'all say I'm the main chick or whatever. Else. Some of you all, you know what I'm saying. But it would be messed up. Now I would be even more madder at the person you know what i'm saying if the shoe was on the foot just say if i was her and then another another an, another person telling me well you know he did me like this and did that and you're like but damn you wouldn't even do me like that you know what i'm saying you, you sit up here telling me i don't do that i don't get down like that no more i changed my ways anyway let me know what you all think of, about this crazy ass video right there and, and and one word of advice you know if you're gonna cheat if you're gonna cheat don't do it at your own damn place number one don't do it but if you're gonna do it don't do it at your own damn place because you never know the time or the hour, you know what I'm saying, like when they say when Jesus come back, you don't know the time or the hour when your uh, significant other will show up. So think about that next time you're trying to get your rocks off and everything else and blast off to the moon. Y'all better be careful out there because I'm telling you, people are not playing with their emotions no more. The uh, piggins are slim out here. It's hard to find somebody good today. It's hard to find somebody that wash their ass, have all their teeth, have a decent face, you know what I'm saying, and have a job or have some source of income because either they look good or they broke as hell or they broke as, I mean, or, or, or hold on, because I don't got my whole, whole self twisted up. Either they look good or they broke as hell or they ugly as hell and got a lot of money so you know it's hard to find somebody out here that's very decent you know but beauty is in the eye of the beholder you know what may be pretty to me may be ugly to you so don't get offended because you have people so sensitive on the internet that you have to just you know nurture everybody basically but anyway just don't damn cheat point blank story closed because let me tell you something when these women and also men women if, if you ain't uh, aware it ain't just the women that do the guys do it too they gonna tell everything you done did so if you done got down on your knees and did something strange for a little piece of uh Chain trying to get some digger lane. Just know one thing. He going to tell the next man what you did. So uh, you better be careful when you are uh, trying to get your freak on. But anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like, subscribe. To next time, y'all stop all this damn cheating. You know, uh, stop stop, stop eating up all, all these grocery stores. And I ain't talking about your supermarkets. I'm talking about uh, the rear ends, if you know what I mean. Stop going out there doing all that stuff because they're going to tell the next person what they uh, what, what you done did with them. And if you're going to do all that to somebody, which, you know, that's so your business, however you get down freaky or not, you know what I'm saying? If you like to uh, taste chocolate pudding or whatever, uh, at least do it to somebody that you really love. Don't just go down there eating up all the grocery to anybody that walk down a damn neighborhood road they don't deserve that you know what i'm saying but anyway y'all stay real i'm out